Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you guys are coming from the previous video, this is part two to my pregnancy safe beauty products video. Yeah, part two. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna be talking about the best and worst pregnancy safe beauty products and in the first video I talked about skincare. So if that's what you guys are looking for, you can click this video here. And this one, I'm gonna go over the rest of the products that I've been using, hair, nails, body, and everything else in between. So let's jump into this video. This is part two of the Pregnancy Safe Beauty products that I've been using throughout my pregnancy. Like I've said in the other one, I have done the research for you so you don't have to. It was really difficult for me to get a grasp of all the products that I can and can't use. I was pretty strict with myself. This is my first pregnancy. So I wanted to make sure I was very safe and very cautious and I didn't know how serious all of this was, so I kind of went gung-ho and, and was like, okay, I'm gonna be like all natural. Um, and I found some great products in the process. So, and some of them I will continue to use. Okay, so let's start with hair. The first shampoo that I had gotten and tried was this Nine Naturals Beauty Without Compromise <clears throat> for Pregnancy and Beyond Nourishing Shampoo. And this is the Citrus and Mint. Honestly, I actually really like this product. It's really refreshing and you know how you can smell everything when you're pregnant. This scent was really refreshing and even if you have like morning sickness or something, I feel like this will help you cure it in the shower because it's just like citrusy and minty and honestly it smells awesome. And I liked how it lathered up on my hair and it did a great job cleaning my hair. This nine natural shampoo guys, definitely give an A plus too. I really liked it quite a bit. So I highly recommend that. After that, I wanted to try some other shampoos, so I went to Whole Foods and I got these. Um, this is from Not Your Mother's Naturals. I got the Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Nutrient Rich Shampoo. And I got the Activated Bamboo Charcoal and Purple Moonstone Restore and Reclaim Conditioner. This is the set that I got. And I've honestly been using these products. Like, I'm almost done with these. <laughs> like, I really like them. They smell so good. They are natural and they don't have anything harmful in them and honestly they do a great job cleaning and conditioning my hair honestly i love it i couldn't recommend these enough and they're not really pricey which is great and it's a big quality large sized bottle the other hair product that i did use i use a lot of dry shampoo um because i don't like to wash my hair every day and usually i use like a spray one but a lot of those have like chemicals or other things that aren't necessarily pregnancy safe. So I did get this Acure Welcome to Hair Wellness Dry Shampoo. It's rosemary and peppermint. And this one kind of reminds me of like going back in time to where dry shampoo kind of origin originated from, like using baby powder and whatnot. But honestly, I've used this throughout my pregnancy and I've liked it quite a bit. It absorbed really well. You just Boop, 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 plop it all around your hair and rub it in then brush it out it doesn't really leave any residue it does a great job absorbing the oil so i can't complain about this product but i am excited to get back to using my sprays because it's just easier and faster and less messy in my opinion that's my only like mm, about this that it's kind of a little messy like the powder can get on your clothes and you know in the sink and everywhere else other shower products that i did use I tried some body washes and the first one I got was like the super pregnancy safe one and this is from Belly Beauty Pure and Pampered Body Wash Balancing Balanced Cleansing Wash. Picky for a purpose. And this is like one that's like raved about for and during pregnancy. <laughs> and honestly, I hated this stuff. Like I don't like it. I didn't didn't even finish it. I don't know. Might like use it for my dog or something I don't know or my baby but the reason I didn't like it because it doesn't lather very well I didn't feel like it was cleaning my skin very well the scent I mean I get it it's almost scent free it has like a very like slight scent but I just didn't like the texture and I felt like you had to use so much of it to get any type of washed feeling that's just not worth the money and therefore that's why this is a no-go for me I will not be using this again I did get a couple body washes that I did love though. The first one is, um, who's this from? Joy, is Joy the company? And it's the Tangerine and Honeysuckle Head to Toe Cleanser. 
This one smells so good, it lathers really well, and I feel really clean and refreshed afterwards, and it's also healthy, free of any harsh chemicals and all the naughty stuff that you shouldn't be putting on your skin while pregnant, so I have loved this. As you can see, it is almost done. Another one that I have loved is this Own Beauty Moisturizing Body Wash, and this is the Coconut and Mango Scented one. And this is another one that I've loved. I basically just alternated the Joy one and this one in the shower depending on my mood. This one's a little creamier um, than the other one I just talked about, but they're both amazing. This one has also has an amazing scent, so can't complain. I always feel refreshed and amazing in the shower after using this. My skin had been very dry, like I've stated before in some of my vlogs. Um, throughout this pregnancy so I did end up getting a scrub which I don't use all the time but when I feel like I need a little extra scruffing of the skin <laughs> I did use this and I just got this from Trader Joe's this is the lavender salt scrub it has a great scent it does a great job exfoliating the only complaint I do have is that the salt particles are kind of harsh so if you are super super sensitive it might hurt you a little bit but it does a great job scrubbing scrub a dubbing <laughs> let's talk about sunscreen so you should be using a mineral based uh sunscreen while you're pregnant and these are both with zinc oxide which is great this is the first one i got this is the sport lotion mineral sunscreen from 365 i just picked this one up at whole foods and it's okay i mean it does the trick but i just hate I absolutely hate how hard it is to like rub into your skin. I think it's the mineral base of it or what that literally you rub it and it takes you like, takes you like a good like five, 10 minutes to like really get it to absorb and get into your skin. It will leave like white streaks and just really don't like it, but I used it because I had to, you know, to be safe. And then I got the sun bomb mineral one too. This one I liked a little better just because it has the same thing. It's a little hard to rub in, but because you can spray it on, the layer of it is a little thinner and therefore it's easier to rub in. So it takes less time, but I mean, both are great mineral options, but I think it's just something you have to deal with with mineral sunscreen to where it's really hard to rub in, which I did not like, but these are still great products. I did try a natural deodorant, and this is the one that I got. I got Bali Secrets Natural Deodorant, Aloe Delight. And it smells good, and I thought I was gonna love it, but honestly, I hated it. It's not like, I don't have like a profuse sweating problem, but I felt like it just like made me sweat more, and it wasn't like absorbing my sweat, and I just felt like stinky and gross, and I felt like it wasn't doing the trick. And I know sometimes you have to like, wait a couple weeks to adjust to a natural deodorant but i just couldn't do that and i just i just didn't like it so i stopped using it absolutely hate it I'm never going to try natural deodorant again i don't think i don't know unless they create one that's just spectacular but i spoke to my doctor and asked her if i could just use my regular deodorant if it's safe and she said yes go ahead so i have been using my clinical strength clear gel completely clean deodorant and this is honestly like my holy grail deodorant it goes on clear it doesn't streak very much and it just keeps me dry clean not smelly and amazing and i know it has a couple products in there that maybe you know could cause question but how much of it is really going into your skin so my doctor approved it therefore i've been using it throughout my entire pregnancy and i've been absolutely fine so you can use this but if you are you know feeling questionable just talk to your doctor and get it approved for yourself as well like i said i went a little gung-ho and i wanted everything to be natural so that's including my nails i actually only did my nails like a couple times throughout this entire pregnancy so i've just been walking around bare nailed but the times i did get my nails done i actually got some natural nail polishes and i got this mineral fusion base coat I actually got a top coat from the same brand, but I don't know what I did with it, but it's the same one. Um, there's nothing in them that's harmful, and these are the ones that I did use, the times I did do my nails. And then I got these two nail polishes from Zoya, and they're free of anything harmful. So yeah, they've been great. Um, I liked, I'd say I like this one more than this one. I feel like this one just, 
didn't have enough pigment for me, so I've definitely used this one more. But they're still great natural products if you're trying to be super safe like I was. <laughs> And then I got this Mineral Fusion nail polish remover as well. Like I said, I went crazy. It does a great job removing nail polish. Great product. I can't complain. The last thing I'm going to talk about is toothpaste. And the first one I got was this Tintin or TNTN Moms. I don't know how you say it. Natural toothpaste. And this is grapefruit flavor. And this is a Korean brand, I believe. And I used it a little bit and I thought it was cool. And it even has, you know, like a little pregnant mom on the picture. So <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, it's gonna be the best product. But I don't know, I'm just not a fruity toothpaste type of girl. I maybe I was as a kid, but not anymore. So I want that like minty, clean, fresh, you know, feeling in my mouth. So I didn't really like this product, so I didn't finish it. So I'd say, eh, on this one. The one I did end up using is this Tom's. Tom's of Maine, it's natural fluoride free and SLS free, botanically bright whitening toothpaste in spearmint. And I do recommend specifically the spearmint flavor because I think I tried peppermint and I did not like it very much at all. And it did take me a while to even get used to the flavor of this, but now I am. I just miss my original like crest toothpaste, <laughs> but I've gotten used to this and this one has been the best minty tasting one in my opinion. And it's healthy and you won't have anything bad going potentially down your throat. To add on, I got this Tom's of Maine SLS fluoride free natural wicked fresh mouthwash. And this is the peppermint wave. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of this peppermint flavor. I should have gotten the spearmint one if they had it. But still, it's a great product if you do need some mouthwash. And I do like using mouthwash here and there. That's it, guys. That's the end of my part two to my pregnancy safe beauty products videos. I hope this has been helpful. I hope you guys try some of these products. Let me know if you have tried any or even if you have some ones that I didn't mention that you could recommend to me. I'd love to hear them in the comments below because, you know, I'd love to use it in my next pregnancy or maybe just throughout my life. I'm really getting into like a more natural kick here. I've liked a lot of the products that I've tried. So yeah, definitely let me know if you have anything you could recommend. I really hope this video helps you guys out on your pregnancy journey. Good luck to all you mamas. I know pregnancy isn't easy and then you have to adjust your entire lifestyle. So yeah, that's fun. But no, it's a beautiful process. It's a miracle that we're you know, creating life within ourselves. Like I said, I've done the research for you. So I hope you try some of these products out and I hope you guys will subscribe so you don't miss any more videos from my channel. My name is Christina and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Ooh.